Hello my angels, welcome back. So today is gonna to be a super quick video. I have been absolutely slammed with work. I literally do not have enough time in the day. So I'm actually heading off to go take photos today for real estate and gonna shoot a couple new communities, um, hopefully get those edited later, but I wanted to give some time to you because I truly miss you so much. Like, I don't know how you feel, but I miss you guys. <laughs> And I want to start showing up more for you. It's just been a matter of finding that balance in life. And I truly believe that there really is no such thing as balance. You just got to find what you love and what you're passionate about. I really go all out in it. So I do have a head cold. Um, I ran a half marathon this past weekend with a horrible head cold. And it was probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. I should have stayed my butt home and slept, but we did it. Now I'm sicker than ever. And um, it just is what it is. So anywho... We're gonna talk about the brand new Kaoli Yum Pistachio Gelato. This bottle, you guys, just by itself is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. It comes in a case like this. So all Kaolis come in like a really nice, pretty case. I did see that they had an actual carrying case that was this fun kind of vibey, super springtime, but could still be winter um, green color that I am just head over heels in love with. I love like the kind of pastels and the springtime colors um, and the bottles just, it's super cute. So this one has pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow and cotton candy. This perfume is incredible. The first whiff of this, it to me smells very gourmand, but kind of woody. And actually thinking through my entire collection of what I've tried, this actually smells very similar to By Killian's um, Princess. It has that same woody note, but it's not the same at all. So it has like that same kind of gourmandy, kind of marshmallowy, like something kind of whipped, but with that woodiness, there's like a slight spiciness in here, but it's not like super prominent. This is just decadent. This really does smell just like, like an ice cream sundae, but with this woodsy, not juvenile, you know, scent to it. This to me is upscale. This is beautiful. This is luxurious. Um, it's gourmand done right. I mean, if we were really talking about like gourmands that have had a true impact on me in such a profound way, I would say like Minui Ademi is definitely probably my number one. This would be right up there. It has that just essence to it where you really can smell the pistachio, like especially upon first spray, like me just spraying it right now that pistachio is like front and center and then it has that like gorgeous whipped cream that comes in and kind of gives it this warmth and this airy kind of warmth but this sweet but not too sweet gourmand it's just an absolute fantastic incredible fragrance like kaoli really killed it with this one i think that out of all their recent launches this one is my favorite this to me tops the vanilla patchouli this to me definitely tops uh love fest burning cherry which i just finished the travel size ml it was like the 10 ml of that finished it done and dusted i'm not going to be buying another one it's not my favorite i really realized like i just really don't like cherry in my fragrance i just don't so this one however if you like more of like that woodsy gourmand if you kind of gravitate towards like the killian's um gourmands or even like if you are into like Minui Ademi, but you want something a little bit lighter, something that could carry you really through summer nights, I feel like this would be the perfect perfume for you. It's just absolutely gorgeous. If you can, get your hands on it. Um, if you are a pistachio lover, I think you'll smell definitely that like pistachio hazelnut note is so gorgeous inside of this perfume. So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I am just going to mention before I have to head out, um, I did pick up these two discovery kits from Sephora. 
Um, so you can actually see this one really intrigued me. I'm not sure where that cut me off, but this is the Maker Collection. They actually have a hotel, which is so cool. I've been dying to go there um, because I just think it's such a fun idea. It's kind of like this vintage -y, feel to it kind of like in chicago there's the athletic club it kind of reminds me of that same vibe like the gym even looks the same i'm not sure if it's the same you know thought process or whatever so it really truly is an experience and i definitely want to experience the experience <laughs> um, but this is just absolutely beautiful i have smelled these i haven't gone through all of them but there are some that did stand out to me um i think it was the naked the fire and might have been the wild one but we'll play with this in another video i definitely want to give it its own time and its own video and then i did get the nut as well um this one i really liked the cocoa fleur which has like bergamot in there some coconut milk sandalwood it's really pretty um, and then there's a couple others in here too that I thought were really pretty, but not super groundbreaking. They're just really nice, you know, every day, throw on and go. You could layer these, um, but they are different than the average. Like this is kind of out of the box. It's not gonna be your typical fragrance. I would kind of relate this more to like a boy smells um, or even, I'm trying to think of what other ones Sephora has that are a little more exotic, you know, not your average everyday typical. Um, we'll talk about these in like another video, but I just want to show you guys, I did get those in. I feel like I have quite a few perfumes that I haven't even talked about on here yet. Um, I did just get in Tommy Girl and I did get in... Um, it's so funny that I'm even, that I even bought those, but I bought uh, Marchino... Marciano's uh, love, something like love is love or something, I don't know. But it's one that I actually wore back in high school and it's very fresh, it's light, it's very grapefruit essence. Um, and I absolutely love, love, love that perfume. I'm going to be doing a video on those two perfumes in particular for their own reasons. They're clean, they're fresh, they're perfect for summer. It's heating up here in Florida, it's humid as hell and you know people are looking for the freshies and so i will be delivering the freshies for you guys so i just want to say you are amazing you are great you are wonderful just as you are if you're watching to the end of this video drop down a goal you have or something that you're looking forward to achieving this week this month um, we're heading into april and i really just want to kick this month off with some good vibes I am so happy that you are here with me. Um, look forward to reading your comments and I will see you guys in the next video.